White people. White people. It's over. Pack it up. White genocide is here. We're going to talk about it. Okay, I'll be Not back. Not a lot of overall growth here. This was actually the slowest, second slowest, I should say, 10-year period of population growth in the country's history. But within the population, some very significant changes. So already, as you say, the long-term trend here had been a country getting more and more diverse. The Hispanic population has been rising with every census. The white population has been falling. And check this out. The new numbers. The white population in the United States didn't just go under 60 percent. We were wondering if it would. It went significantly under 60 percent, 57.8 percent. The white population of the United States, according to the new census and the Hispanic population continuing to rise. It's getting close to 20 percent now, 18.7 percent. You see the Asian American population as well. That's up now to nearly 6 percent. So the country continues to get much more diverse. Let's talk about it because there's a Tucker Carlson rant this is like off the rails by tucky boy here just straight up white supremacist rant tucker carlson did a whole rant on white people dropping nine point i think it is nine percent right in the census they're of course still the majority but it's the first time that this has happened in the history of the united states since the census first started in like 1890 if i'm not mistaken Let's it watch. seems like just the other day that america's self-described moral leaders were denouncing us for pointing out the obvious Democrats are intentionally accelerating demographic change in this country for political advantage. So rather than convince people to vote for them, that's called democracy, they're counting on brand new voters. That's what we said on the show. Immediately after we said that, they became completely hysterical. They tried to pull us off the air. They said we were espousing something called the Great Replacement Theory, a well-known racist fantasy. Right. In other words, shut up. And then this week, the new census numbers came out. Here's what those numbers show. The number, not the proportion, but the absolute number of Americans who describe themselves as white has dropped for the first time in our history since the census began back in 1890. The total decline is oh, around shit. 5 okay. million people. Now, that is huge. Experts who study demographics for a living were shocked by it. They'd never seen anything like this. Why did this happen? Where did all these people go and why? There I have an answer. Are you ready for this? It's called race mixing or miscegenation or interracial marriage there's a multitude of different factors for why like the population of white people is or people who identify as white on the census is declining but one of the most common reasons is because nearly 300 percent more that's three times more people identify as more than one race on top of white in the united states of america since the last census now of course Tucker is not going to say that because he wants to hide that he's like an old school white supremacist. But that is a significant reason. And that is wonderful that he chooses not to mention that beautiful fact, chooses not to mention that like whiteness uh, going, I don't know, the whiteness population declining is a bad thing. Like, why is it a bad thing? No one will ever answer this. So whenever someone tries to tell you that, like ask him, why is that a bad thing? What is white? And also, why is that a fucking bad thing? And also, how will you stop this uh, decline of the white population and why? If it's such a bad thing, why are you trying, like, why is it bad? And also, why are you trying to fucking make sure that there's a majority white people? Like, it makes no sense because whiteness is an antiquated concept built on exclusion. It comes from the one drop rule. That's why we don't say Obama is uh, another white president, but we say he's the first black president even though he's half black and half white so that is precisely the reason why whiteness is the one instance where their demographic is slated to get smaller and smaller because it's based upon this completely made up concept of purity throughout the history of the united states many different ethnicities have not been considered white until recently when there were big waves of immigration from europe italians were not considered white the irish were not considered white greeks are still sometimes not considered white. Jews were not considered white. Polish people were not considered white. If you go all the way back to the founding, old Benny Franks considered anyone who was not English to be swarthy and not white. So the concept of whiteness has changed always. But the one thing that is unchanging about the concept of whiteness is that it is built upon purity and exclusion. And that is precisely why it's, of course, always going to get smaller and smaller and smaller in an effort to combat that that reality whichever the in-group is that is considered white 
has expanded on it by including those same uh, groups of individuals that I just mentioned into the concept of whiteness, but then also have even gone so far as to include Hispanic people. There's a concept of just white Hispanics in this country, for example. Latino people who are white. And there are Latino people who are white. Of course, there are Hispanic people who are white. But to make an argument about why this is somehow a bad thing and not just a normal part of life as we grow and we learn from our past mistakes and we believe in things like uh, if you love one another, it doesn't matter what race you are, you should be able to marry one another and have children with one another. Then you're going to look at that and go, that's kind of weird, kind of a weird take. Well, it's not just the weird take. It's an old take. Tucker Carlson here is without giving the game away, as he expertly always hides the truth behind what his words actually mean, is basically saying the age old argument that white supremacists have said a million times over. And that is that race mixing and immigration is changing the American uh, demographic makeup. And that's somehow bad and you should feel bad about it and you should feel worried about it. Now, when someone who's wearing a Klan robe says those very same words, you understand that that's racist. You're conditioned into recognizing, well, what the fuck, that's crazy. That is literally a Nazi, fascist, white supremacist talking point. The demographics of destiny and that America is changing demographically and that's somehow a bad thing. When in fact, it's changing because people are fucking each other, okay? People are fucking each other. Populations of mixed race folks are growing. There's immigration coming in from all around the world and it's a good thing, not a bad thing good thing it's only a bad thing if you are a white supremacist and somehow believe in some sort of weird inherent value to the concept of whiteness really interesting coming from the very same people who always say i see no race i see no race i see no race i'm uh race neutral i'm i'm, I'm colorblind and yet here he is doing an entire nazi fucking rant about the number of white people declining in this country they're americans remember well, as leading Democrats put it again and again, who cares? Fewer white people in America is a great thing now and we should celebrate. Fine. Right now, Stephen Miller and Donald Trump are at Mar-a-Lago and they're throwing up because this is not the America they want to see. I was at the White House the other day and guess who's got Stephen Miller's <laughs> old office? Her name is Susan Rice and she's Sue one of us. And guess who is in Ivanka Trump's old office? Julie Rodriguez, Who? she is Caesar Chavez's oh, I love Julie. granddaughter. Did you hear that? Her name is Susan Rice, she's one of us. Meaning she's a Democrat? No. It means she's not white. Us is the non-white people cheering the extinction of white people. That was The extinction of white people. The extinction of white people. The profound amount of privilege that you immediately report to the rest of the world. When you say people fucking consensually and people coming into the country consensually is a genocide or extinction. There is no barrel of the gun here. There is no force here applied. It's just people who are choosing to expand boundaries that previously people like Tucker Carlson and like-minded individuals like Tucker Carlson, white supremacists, were able to render impossible and illegal. We live in a country where we're two generations removed from cops literally breaking they down your spin, fucking door spin, if you were a white person Apple living with a black person, okay, in certain parts of the country. You have to be so goddamn privileged to say, oh, dude, it's literally genocide. It's like the equivalent of stubbing your fucking toe or stepping on a Lego and being like, this is the worst thing that could have any uh, happened to anyone. This is literally like getting chemotherapy treatment for my cancer because you are a profoundly privileged individual. And there are a lot of people who are profoundly privileged and they get caught up in Tucker Carlson's rhetoric without recognizing that this rhetoric is one, incredibly dangerous and two, basically regurgitated white supremacist uh, ideology that is repackaged for a broader audience Thompson, on television like think about that for a minute it's hard to think about it actually because it's that evil and if you wanted to encourage permanent racial division maybe even violence in america that is exactly how you would talk on television these people are completely yes saying that miscegenation is causing white extinction is not causing violence in this in this country but simply celebrating that more people of color are able to get to positions of power in this country when it was literally illegal for them to do so not that long ago, especially in their parents' generations, that's not a cause for celebration for these people. Out of control, they are dangerous. And it's not just CNN analysts who are talking this way. By the way, once again, there is no more divisive thing that you could say on television. Literally, you're right. There's no way you could 
more quickly no, and more permanently. No, he's 100 percent right. Can you imagine being like, dude, this is literally the Holocaust. Like, this is literally the Holocaust when when uh you know like black people are having sex with like white people consensually, and that's uh the same as like extinction and genocide it's crazy wreck the country than to encourage people to gloat over the decline of a race seriously imagine any other race people talking like that it's it's nuts actually but again members of congress are talking that way or even fake ones here's eleanor holmes norton who pretends to serve in congress look at where the population is and that's how we win Motherfucker went to Peacock to grab a video, dude. That's when you know you are literally just trying to find the absolute lowest common denominator. Like you, you searched far and wide. You looked hard. Or have to try to win in the census numbers because the population growth has been in the cities and, and in the suburbs among minorities. Uh, and that's what gives us some leverage. Got that? Democrats win when we have fewer white people in the country. And that's why they're celebrating the new census number. She just said that out loud. You should never say anything like that out loud. But they are. Well, even if they don't say that out loud, you're still going to fucking imply that they're saying it regardless. So what difference does that make to you? He's so giddy. It's true. It's literally true. The reality is, if one party has made whiteness and preserving the hierarchy of whiteness although it is a made-up concept again based upon exclusion as i mentioned time and time again but if one party's entire strategy revolves around we are going to keep things the way they are and whites are going to remain on top and they allude to that regularly then yes the other party's uh, goals are going to be hey there's less people who identify as white demographically speaking not a bad thing and precisely why Tucker Carlson is butt hurt about the fact that there are less white people in the country. There's still the majority, but the white population got lower. And all of a sudden that is like, oh my fucking God, this is extinction. Why is he upset? Because less conservatives, he gets it. Fewer white people, she wrote, you can look it up, is quote, fabulous news. Now we need to prevent minority white rule. Minority white rule. Do you recognize that phrase? Oh, South Africa. That's what she wants, South Africa. What? South Africa? Did Tucker Carlson just say that apartheid South Africa was better? Is he unironically saying that minority white rule, which was going on in apartheid South Africa, was actually uh, better and it's a good thing? Because I fucking hate Jay Rubin. But what she was saying there is, you know, a minority, not just of like white people, but a minority amongst the white people rule this fucking country. Conservatives. That's the truth. They make up a tiny fucking fraction of the population. But given the unequal measures that we have either built into the system itself or that we have built in a more contemporary developments of American governance, we have decided that, again, there is still going to be a minority conservative white rule in this country. Tucker didn't say anything. He commented on a tweet. Okay, yes, tomato, the tweet, time, unless you okay, are tomato, failing time, to comprehend okay, because you have no time, critical time, thinking okay, skills. Tomato, well, you tomato, probably tomato, don't tomato, because you are tomato, kind of defending tomato, Tucker okay. Carlson here. Tucker Carlson is attacking a tweet that literally says, now we need to prevent minority white rule. Who are now missing from the census. Well, it turns out many of them perished in the opioid epidemic. Hundreds of thousands of young Americans, mostly from rural communities, dead from drug overdoses. A columnist from the Washington Post is cheering that. Their deaths are fabulous, she says. What? All the white the people, the, the white population that diminished, result. diminished because they died of opioid overdoses? Absolutely zero people said that. I mean, I fucking hate Jennifer Rubin, okay? You guys know this. I make fun of Jay Rubin all the time, but no, she did not fucking say that. That is psychotic. You are stretching so hard that you might actually fucking break your back here a little bit. I guess only white people die from the opioid uh, epidemic. I guess that's what was going on there. Only white people have died from the opioid epidemic, which that's why it's an epidemic, you know, and not the war on drugs as it's supposed to be. Rural white people, aka Tucker's America. That's not even true. Tucker Carlson would despise being around rural white people. He looks down upon them. He just LARPs as though he cares about them so that he can make a fucking argument. He doesn't give a shit. He wants to just rule. He wants people like himself to rule this has fucking to, country to with an iron fist. He is a wasp supremacist. He doesn't give a fuck about anything, and except, I guess, the like fact that uh, America is becoming more brown. It's hard even to know how to respond to that. So we're going to pull back Finally and let Pedro Gonzalez assess it. He's the associate editor at Chronicles Magazine. We're happy to have him join us now. Pedro, thanks so much 
for coming on. Boy, if you wanted to wreck the United States and cause actual conflict, you would talk like Jen Rubin. What, why are they talking this way? Because this... Yeah, here, we brought Pedro in to talk about how, you know, white is right, actually. Can you... Pedro, I brought you in uh, for no reason other than, you know, uh, I just want your take on this matter. I mean, I have white people on every night, but right now I'm just, I'm having you for no reason. I mean, hey, listen, I wonder if Pedro is considered a white Hispanic person. I wonder, maybe. Perhaps he uh, checked a uh, white Hispanic on the... Uh, on Something the census anyway so pedro can you uh can you respond to this thing i totally made up in my head and i'm very upset about is about power and control and the the funny thing about the rubin narrative is basically uh white people are being marginalized but you're not allowed to notice you're not even allowed to talk about it and if you disagree with them being marginalized i just want to i want to have pedro on and be like what, what do you mean by white people are being marginalized let's get started on what you mean by white is it because your skin is white is that a white person am i white you know i think i i think so but maybe i'm not i don't know if you ask some people they don't consider me white and also how how are white people being marginalized i just i need to understand you're racist it's racist of course because supposedly white people are the villains of human history that is an absurd calumny the truth is that the specter of white supremacy is used to fuel the growth of a corrupt political order, and whites are in fact the victims in this system. If you look at things like wages and life expectancy, those have fallen for the white working class while they've risen for all other groups. If you look at- Yeah, because the, they were scraping the bottom of the barrel in living conditions until recently, dumbass. Yeah, it's, it's actually, you know, not necessarily like black people taking away from white people, but rather like black people being able to reach like, you know, second class uh, uh, human being status. So like, yes, it, with respect to the previous years, yes, that's true. You know, it's, it's gotten a little bit better for uh, non-white people. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's like, you know, a great overall. Like, what is the argument here? You're like, nah, dude, it's fucked up. Also, the solution to this problem when it comes to like white men having an uh, incredibly high rate of suicide and things of that nature is... Something that I have a fucking uh, uh, opinion on and would like to solve. They don't. They're conservatives. If you ask them, it's like, if you ask them, it's like, we need to reinforce the, the prior fucking hierarchies so that like white people at least forget that they're getting fucked over by getting corporations because they're hyper-focusing on how much better their conditions are in comparison to non-white people. That's the old way of doing things. For me, it's like, yeah, give everyone health care unconditionally. I don't give a fuck if you're white, black, doesn't matter. Okay, but when I argue for that, it's like, oh, you're a fucking socialist communist bastard, so fuck you. At our culture of affirmative action, we disadvantage white people in this country in jobs and schooling, and we- Dude, anyone who talks about affirmative action literally has to unironically and unconditionally openly state that the real affirmative action is class-based. The real affirmative action that we, under our capitalist organization of the economy rarely ever fucking look at is legacy admissions dude it's literally legacy admissions affirmative action is a band-aid solution to systemic racism the real way to deal with that the real way to like build a base level of material equality for black people is not through affirmative action but through one reparations and two through funding black communities okay predominantly black neighborhoods that have been underfunded in a state of disrepair for many generations black people were not allowed to create intergenerational wealth just by being like hey whichever black person is able to fucking escape the prior conditions are now uh, lucky enough to be able to get into a college that uh, they're going to be taking on a, a boatload of debt and go back into the same like shitty job market that's not like that's not solving systemic racism this is insane an absolutely pathetic fucking take here but uh not surprised that you know these two fucking dildos would uh, come up with these arguments on a complete non-issue you just point to a white person and say it's your fault it, it's psychotic but historically I this is what imperial and colonial idea. governments do they encourage division between groups in other words making people hate each other is the point the the neoliberal politics of racial grievances of demographic deconstruction are about poisoning the moral character of americans and making them so hateful toward each other that they don't notice people like Rubin and they don't notice people like the Uniparty are actively trying to destroy their lives. I think we need to stop talking about race entirely in this country and just, just talk about Americans. I mean, wait, 
Okay, sure. Why the fuck are you literally doing a an entire... Why is tonight's main story for you? The white population is diminishing. Okay, stop talking about it, you fucking idiot. You can't just be like, I'm colorblind. After you did an entire full-on fucking segment on white people are being exterminated in this country. What the fuck? Like, they're not. You're an, an idiot. You're so dumb. I don't know what to say. Of thousands of Americans, leaving aside their color, have died of opioid ODs. And the only one anyone in Washington notices is George Floyd. So how do you think Americans feel about that? If what the fuck? How much has Tucker Carlson talked about the Sackler family? I need to know. He has to have covered the Sackler family and the opioid crisis, right? There's no way he hasn't. He had to have covered it because like, otherwise he's just the worst person on the planet. First and foremost, he's trying to make this narrative that like white people are exclusively dying because of the opioid uh, epidemic. He's trying to make it seem like that's uh, on purpose to like kill white people. Kind of like how, you know, crack cocaine was uh, welcomed into uh, the black neighborhoods. You know what I mean? Like crack cocaine was like, hey, w w what's going on? You know, crack cocaine is, uh, I was trying to use the fucking, what do you call it? The Johnny Harris uh, rhetoric there. So I'm sure he had to have covered uh, the, the Sackler family because like there's no way. Is he's trying to to paint this narrative that like opioids are systematically murdering white people and not any black people. And he's also making it seem like no one cares about this. Tucker Carlson is literally a part of the ruling class and props the ruling class up all the goddamn time. No they are responsible for Saj. allowing the opioid epidemic to continue in this country. It's for-profit pharmaceuticals that are responsible for this issue. He's not ruling class, LMAO. Tucker Carlson is not ruling class. Tucker Buckley McNear Swanson Carlson, a trust fund baby who is literally inheriting the Swanson frozen food dynasty is not a part of the ruling class. Are you fucking delusional, dude? He is literally the most watched news person in the United States of America and routinely engages in agitative propaganda to make sure you focus all of your energy and anger away from the true fucking criminals that have subjugated you and focus on random people in a shittier situation than even yourself coming into this country. His sole purpose for existing and what he gets paid handsomely for is to literally make sure you never focus on the main issues and you never focus on the real reasons for inequality and only instead shift your crosshairs over to fellow working class individuals. You have to be a real psychopath and not recognize that he's, there, it's not an accident he rarely ever talks about fucking the uh, taxes, uh, the need to increase taxes on the wealthy. Yeah, I mean, Pedro's saying all the right words, but like, who do you think is going to be on the receiving end of like a purge if it comes out to, to you know, regulate the demographics, Pedro? You think, you think they're not going to come for you, you fucking dumbass?